Whether it's hormonal imbalance or just father time playing a really, really sick game with us, male pattern baldness has become one of the worst things that could ever happen to a guy. And I mean ever. Take Arthur, for instance. Here's a guy who had it all. Dreams, goals, and aspirations, along with a nice head of hair. And now, all he has left is a receding hairline and a hair comb full of memories. How old were you in this picture? I, I, was, I was young. About um, 18, 19 years old. Do you remember this person? I understand that you wanted to be a nuclear... A uh, physicist. Nuclear physicist. Physicist, right, right, right. But that didn't pan out. Why? Well, you see, when I was still in school, I, uh, I would sort of play with my, my front hairs like this to keep me concentrated and focused. I got straight A's throughout second year of college. Then my hair started to fall out. And it was like I was, I was losing my lucky charms. I had to do something. It was hard for Arthur to say goodbye to his former hairline. He tried to do what he could to bring it back. Nothing was out of the realm of possibility. So, did it work? So when did it all turn around? <laughs> well, I was feeling pretty low there for a while. But then, this, this was about four or five years ago, I saw an ad in the newspaper and it advertised this, this health group that sounded like it could be good for me. Hello everyone, my name is Arthur. Hello, Arthur. And I'm bowling. So. How are you now? I'm okay. Living every day as it comes. <laughs> we can all learn an important lesson from Arthur, and that is... Well, some people are just giving a bad hand in life, and I'm glad I'm not one of them. Take care. <laughs>